what happens is you have upper lung, lower lung. When you have injectable vaccines, it only protects up to the lower lungs. Okay. The upper lung and nose are not protected much. So you still get okay. infection. This is, I'm trying to simplify the matter. Uh, you know, I'm trying to make it simplify. Why this is important, this area is important, where the virus enters. Why now people are talking about a nasal vaccine as a second generation vaccine. The second generation vaccine, what happens is, it, pro it, it protects everything from here to upper lung and lower lung. All are mm. protected. That's a nice thing about the, the, it protects, it has got a two immune responses, three, three immune responses, mucosal immunity, that means nasal immunity. And second is IgG response, like injectable vaccine. Third is uh, T cell response. So all three responses produce only nasal vaccine. Injectable vaccine only produce IgG and T so, cell response. So this nasal, nasal vaccines are how far away now? We just, uh, phase one is undergoing right now. By May 8th, it will be last date for us for the data coming out. So you are also you are also coming up with a nasal vaccine? Yes. I think we'll be the first and one in the world. If the regulators uh, uh, help us, we'll be the first one in the world to come out of nasal You're going vaccine. to make history. You're going to be making history if that happens. No, I do not know, but we have competition from US and China on that vaccine. And uh, but, now, but, but, your, but tell me, if, I, if 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 someone's taken Covaxin or Covishield now, and you come up with a nasal vaccine in say May, June, uh, can someone then who's already taken an injectable vaccine also get a nasal vaccine shot? That's a very good question, Anna. Very good question. But I don't have data. I don't want to be blamed that I suggested something like that. Yeah. But if you look at scientifically, my, you want me to make a hypothesis on that, okay? Yeah. Um, an injectable vaccine, whoever take an injectable vaccine, if you take one dose of nasal vaccine, might take care of the problem of transmission stops. The one nice thing about the nasal vaccine, you will not get infection and also not transmitting the virus. When you don't transmit the virus, you block the chain. You block the chain of the transmission. And that is what we want. You want to flatter the curve is the only way is the transmission stopping. Right now, it is not happening. So people it's can take the people can take even those who've taken an injectable vaccine now. Most Absolutely. probably, you yes. think will be, will be able to take a nasal I, vaccine. It's only my hypothesis. Yes, but I don't have a data. And it's a it's a nasal vaccine. Is what? It's like a nasal drop. It just drop, just uh, like a polio drops, just like polio drop, just to turn them one, two drops here, two drops here. You're done with it. And we have Amazing. seen uh, 200 people were vaccinated, and we have seen not even uh, single adverse, not even fever, not even fever, not even single adverse reaction.